Hello and welcome to a very special episode of Cake Fight Presents The Making of Kaleidoscope. I'm writer, director, producer Paige Feldman, and today is day lucky number seven of Writing Kaleidoscope, a series where I am taking you behind the scenes as I write the script for the film Kaleidoscope, which is going to be my directorial debut feature. And I am attempting to get this all written before the clock strikes midnight and 2022 officially begins. Today is Thursday, December 23rd, and we are in my kitchen because I'm going to be making some jambalaya for dinner and also talking to you about my signature scene. It's related, I promise. Chopping the celery now. Um, so as I'm making jambalaya, I am going to tell you all about what I did today. So today, like I've been saying, is my first day off of work. I have I'm on vacation until the end of the year. So happy. <laughs> Anyone else getting like a fatal attraction vibe? Oh, I like how my knife reflects the light. Anyway, I had to make up for lost time because I have not been hitting my 10 pages a day goal the past few days. So today I did that and more. I started on page 38 and I ended on page 50, which very excited about. But as we all remember, I'm writing long. This is probably going to be 150 page first draft. It's fine. <laughs> Haven't finished act one yet, but I'm getting close and I will finish act one tomorrow. I stopped in the middle of Jonah and Lee deciding whether or not they should work together. Spoiler alert, they're gonna work together. That is, that's where I stopped and I wasn't actually thrilled with a lot of the words that I put on the paper today. I was thrilled that I put them on the paper. I was thrilled that I was getting through scenes and making things happen and making a few little discoveries like uh, Zach, Jonah's brother. I started writing him like a himbo. Just sweet, a little bit dumb, a little bit goofy. It's like a golden retriever. That was really fun. But everything else, especially the Lee and Jonah stuff, unfortunately, I just, I, I couldn't, I couldn't get the vibe. I couldn't get into the flow. And so I'm hoping that just the continuing to write and all that tomorrow is really going to help me. Now let's talk about why I am making jambalaya while telling you all about my writing. Number one, I'm hungry. <laughs> I gotta multitask, it's, it's late. But, but really, I, the one thing I wrote today that I really liked was a scene between Zach and Jonah. And this is scene nine, which is Jonah sort of gets his personal stakes. Jonah's a stand-up comic, and ever since the accident, ever since the party that the time loops in, he has had debilitating stage fright. He cannot perform. It's been a year. And Jack Colby, the cheese guy, <laughs> is this Sundance director who is looking for a real comedian to come in and punch up his script. Zach is going to be starring in this movie and he told Jonah, hey, I know Jack didn't like your, actually Jack Colby. It's always first and last name with Jack Colby. Jack Colby didn't like your material at the party, but Jonah said he was working on some new stuff, which kind of a lie, but also kind of a deflection as far as the, uh, why haven't you been performing stand-up thing? And Jonah responds, I finished with the celery here. <laughs> wash this pepper. So anyway, so Jonah's told Zach that he's working on some new material and Zach says, well, if that's the case and you're ready to perform because you haven't performed in a while, why don't you come down to this the showcase that Jack and my agency is putting on to help Jack find the comic that he wants to work with to rewrite the script. It's in two weeks and Jonah says he's ready. He is clearly not ready. The previous night he couldn't even get through one joke on stage, let alone an entire set. So that's the scene and the scene's fine, but the thing that I love about it is that while all of this conversation was going on, Jonah was making Zach an omelet. <laughs> Guys, I love food. I love cooking. It's one of my happy places. I love the business of food and cooking and eating and putting it in my writing. With Interrobang, my short form comedy anthology, I didn't have a chance to explore that because it was scenes just after sex and 
I just didn't think to have a scene where someone was eating a hot dog. I should have. Not in like a dirty way, just in a like, that seems like a fun snack. But there actually was a whole conversation about what Thai food to get place to get takeout from in my episode forever, which is the one that all the festivals love. And it's really great, but they're all my favorites. They're all my babies. Anywho, uh, <laughs> I love the, the business of people making food and eating. That sort of thing tells you a lot about a person. Jonah is super competent at making an omelet. He whisks the eggs. He you know messes with it in the pan, making sure that everything gets cooked. And then he can flip it, just like flip it like that. I... I'm not very good at that. I'm gonna need to learn how to do that just because I want to. Uh, my fiance can do it like 75% of the time, which is really cool. But I wanna show Jonah being super competent, like, like a serious guy, even though nobody takes him seriously. No one will except for Lee. Competent. Competent is just a great, I feel like it's a great compliment that people don't give a lot. <laughs> Random thoughts. It's what happens when you're writing for two hours in a day to try to meet your page goal. You don't talk to anybody and then you get a camera on and you're just yap yap yapping. I am going to finish making this jambalaya and tomorrow, day eight, which is like a lucky number in China. So lucky number eight, maybe they're all lucky. They're all lucky. I will be back here to talk more about the writing of Kaleidoscope, including Finally, getting through act one and rounding the corner into act two where all the real fun time loop shenanigans, falling in love stuff. I'm so excited. All right, y'all, thank you so much for watching. Enjoy this montage that I'm gonna get into of making this jambalaya, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Yeah, this baby said that they don't got a future, future like that. It burns. Give him something worse to kill his head with Make him forget somehow Might be that another day She would have wished he stayed But they're done Sorry, this won't be enough this time Yeah, he's calling all his friends to get some action And distract him right now He's fine, got Lucy on the line Let's get this started Where's the party tonight? I feel good, nothing weighs me down I can't believe my love don't you wanna have fun? Fool around with someone. Don't you wanna have fun? Never mind my dumb heart. It needs a little kickstart. Cause don't you wanna have fun? Don't you wanna have some fun? It's so good and it's so hot. Don't you wanna have some fun? What? This isn't how you chop your onions? With eye protection? So you don't have to keep blowing your nose and washing your hands every three minutes? I may look silly, but I'm pretty smart. <laughs>